we started going through our cards and gifts and noticed that about 12 of our cards were missing. I figure there's about 30 cards missing somewhere. Two weddings, one weekend, and the same story. The Johnsons and the Millers, both newlyweds, say someone stole from them at their own wedding reception. Both events taking place at the Foundry on Elmwood Avenue in Buffalo. My mother-in-law had actually had a card with her, and their card was missing. Um, and then my godfather's card was missing, and then we started looking at our guest list and trying to put together what was going on and then figure that somebody must have taken our, our cards. Samantha Miller contacted 7 Eyewitness News after seeing the Johnson story on Monday. She says it's quite a coincidence that both couples who were married on the same weekend are now missing their gifts. You can't get that back and it's also embarrassing. We called some of our guests just to let them know that this had happened. And um, it's embarrassing to have to ask them about the gift so we can report it. You want to have your um, card box or gift table somewhere that's visible to your wedding at all times. Sarah Spoth is the owner of Sarah Simone Event Styling. She works with brides and grooms in western New York and says the best advice to couples is to designate someone be in charge of the gifts. And that's devastating to not have that. I, I can't imagine losing them. That's why you definitely want to make sure you have somebody, you know, helping you throughout the evening and monitoring that for you. Both couples say if they could do it over, over, that is exactly what they would do. You know, somebody that will take the money immediately for you or even take it right when people are finishing the ceremony or the reception starts and put it somewhere. Both couples have filed police reports. The Foundry released the following statement to 7 Eyewitness News saying, quote, We are deeply concerned regarding the two allegations of theft occurring at the Foundry. We at this time are investigating all possibilities of occurrence. We have watched and are re-watching all video surveillance during these two separate instances. They go on to say there is not at this time any evidence to support any theories. We, of course, will continue to explore on our end and cooperate with all aspects of this investigation. Reporting live at the Live Desk, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Hannah. Also